which again is a lovely, lovely question, very challenging question. At least I found it to be challenging. Right? In a group of 10 students, the mean of the lowest 9 students is 42, while the mean of the highest 9 students is 47. For the entire group of 10 students, the maximum possible mean exceeds the minimum possible mean by. And so 10 students, let's say A1, A2, all the way till A10. Mean, mean of the lowest 9 scores is 42. So I'm going to add up A1 to A9. Sum of all this is 42 into 9. When I don't want to deal with the mean, I want to deal with the total, the nine entities. So the total is 42 into 9. The sum of the these 9 is 47 into 9. Sitting here is a very simple, very powerful idea. The sum of the first 9 is A1 through to A9. That is, keeping A1 aside, it is A2 to A9. Some of the last 9 is A2 to A10. Or keeping A10 aside, it is A2 to A9. This bunch is present in both of these sums and very simple. And so A1 plus this bunch is 42 into 9. A10 plus this bunch is 47 into 9. You subtract one from the other, you can get A10 minus A9. And so I want to write this down differently. A1 plus this total is 42 into 9. A10 plus this total is 47 into 9. This total is everything from A2 to A9. You subtract one from the other. A10 minus A1 is 47 minus 42 into 9, 5 into 9, 45. Or this number is 45 more than this number. Now, let's rewrite it like that. So we have A1, A2, A3, all the way till A9. And this will be A1 plus 45. For the entire group of 10 students, the maximum possible mean exceeds the minimum possible mean by. So we need to find the maximum possible mean, we need to find the minimum possible mean. Very simple idea, going from 1, this is one number A1, this is A1 plus 45. And so quite simply you can say, I want the remaining mean, the lowest for the scores will be 42. So I can have one instance where each of these numbers is 42. And that number will be 42 plus 45. Okay. The other extreme will be the instance where each of the last numbers is 47. So you plonk this as 47, 47, 47. This number is also 47. The first number is 47 minus 45, which is 2. This will represent the minimum, this will represent one boundary, this will represent another boundary. Find the difference in, in the means, that's the answer you're looking for. And one extreme is when A1 through to A9 are all equal. Another extreme is when A2 to A10 are all equal. Plonk this, plonk this, find the means and you're good to go. Find the mean in the first case, all of these have 42. So that 42 averages out to 42, plus this additional 45, 45 over 10 instances. So this average will be 42 plus 4.5. Everything has 42. This also has 42 plus an additional 45. 45 over 10 units is 42 plus 4.5. This average is direct 46.5. This one, there are 9 47s or 10 47s minus a 45. This average will be 47 minus 4.5. 42 plus 4.5. This is 46.5. This is 47 minus 4.5, which is 42.5. The difference between these two is 4, the choice you're looking for. And wonderful question, delightful question. First, we have to anchor that A10 is A1 plus 45. Then for either extreme, it's going to be put A1 to A9 equal, put A2, A10 to A2 equal. Both extremes get uh, discovered and then you can find the minimum and maximum. Gosh.